And of course, we had to have a first-hand look for the creature ourselves. So we joined Dan as he took us to the spot where he had a sighting. This is where uh, the reflection came up of something that uh, hasn't been explained yet, just offshore here. Um, so it's just kind of the thing where you're looking and then you just notice this thing just appear out of the water? Well, it was such a bright reflection that, and there was nothing else on the lake. There was no boats anywhere around. We, it was pretty early in the morning, so yeah. me and my friends uh, saw it right away. Got a pretty good eye working at the marina. Yeah. I mean, some people can misinterpret this too. As I mean, like, there, there are a lot of waves out here today and waves do cast shadows now. Right. Are you going to get that argument? Well, in my video, the lake was sort of had the mirror effect. It had a few light ripples, but uh, if you take it in, in different computer programs and put it onto uh, a negative art form, um, it still shows up as something solid as compared to all the other water. Some parts of this lake can go as deep as 600 feet, and there's lots of underwater caves in the lake because it's quite long, so it could give this monster lots of places to live. And some people say if you drain the water out of the lake, it would put the Grand Canyon to shame. The mountain formation, it comes down as a reef and there's sort of subfloors. And underneath those subfloors, there's dividers of water that, that are like 300 feet. So it's a, it's a very deep lake and there's lots of uh, caves and little crevices underneath uh, the shoreline that uh, the people are not aware of. And an animal could very well go up there and hibernate and have his, his own little cave or uh, uh, home, if you want, underneath there. Now, if this creature's a vegetarian, uh, he would basically have the ideal habitat to live in as well? He could have the ideal habitat. It's fresh water. Um, I don't know. They, they say that it, it could have came through the rivers and canals and stuff like that from the ocean. And then uh, in the Ice Age, it, it froze with the Ice Age. And then as the water came back, then the uh, animal came back as well. So are you a believer? I'm definitely a believer. Yeah. Definitely a believer. Ogopogo will be explain someday, I don't know when, but uh, there's something in this lake and uh, it will be explained. Seeing is believing? That's right, definitely. Mm -hmm.